Hey guys, this is Action 104, episode 17. We are one year into it. And on uh, episode 17, starting out with French Baker on the NES. Maybe. Huh. It seems that my controller is not wanting... There we go. French Baker. For some reason, it didn't want to start. Okay, looks like I am the white guy in the middle. Now on top. Let's test this real quick. Okay, the falling kills you. Not a good sign. Apparently, this is used as the uh, standard action 52 game engine that we've seen where falling kills you. We've seen a lot of games use that format, but we've also seen some that don't use that format. In most games, unfortunately, it's a, a game killer. Ooh, check out the flicker on the sprites. That was ugly. Looks like our enemies just kind of come in out of nowhere. Yep, anytime you think you're about ready to not wipe them all out, here they come, fast and heavy again. Oh, that was crap. The enemy spawned right on top of me. Oh well, well, we'll give it another go. And they all spawned right on top of me in that area. That's alright. Take that! Hello, oh, up there they are. Where are these odd objects I'm fighting? We've got like a donut with legs up on the top. We've got... The heck killed me? Something ran into me because I wasn't paying attention, but uh... There's dressers, there's... I don't know what that thing is, flapping around with wheels, that purple thing up there. Uh, the other things, I don't know, are they walking sombreros, maybe? The ones I just killed? There's uh, the dressers that we're wiping out now. Going back up on top, there's another walking sombrero. Who comes up with this stuff? Is this uh, first level ever going to end? Is that all of them? No, we're gonna spawn some more enemies. All right. Yay, level two. They walk faster, and the ladder arrangement's a little different. He spawned as I went up the. Ugh. Come on. I'm getting agitated. <laughs> okay, I, my shot went right through him. Y'all saw that? What? You saw me? Fi what? What? Who? Ah! Oh my god, they're getting worse! Come on! I hate to sound like the angry video game nerd. It's like I said, I was gonna review these with an open mind, but the stupid enemies keep spawning right on top of me. Occasionally, your shots pass through completely. Yeah, watch yourself for before the sombrero decides to spawn up your rear end. Oh, come. Okay, no more. It fails. It fails in so many levels. You die by falling a few inches. Enemies spawn right on top of you. Half the time your shots go through the enemies. No. Sorry, NES, it fails. Let's uh, move on to the Genesis, see what it can do. Oh god, I hope Sega can do better. This is going to be Alien Attack. Level one. Okay, the female's voice is getting in my nerves because it's in every game. The heck? Die! Okay, like a lot of them on the Genesis, it's got the problem of the screen don't want to scroll until you're right on top of the right side. Then it finally scrolls. And it looks like... Is that Medusa? The foreground blocks your character. That's not good. Die, Medusa! <laughs> now, I don't know what the object is. Are we trying to get to the end of the level? Or are we trying to kill enough baddies for the level to complete? Whoa! Ha ha! This is one of those games where a turbo controller would probably come in handy. 
Yeah, Contra the Saint. Okay, apparently in here, trying to get to the end of the level. Don't matter how many baddies you... What the... Is this a blood cave? What is this? Holy crap, it's a lot of red in the screen. Oh, you can tell they made an attempt with the uh, foreground graphics, but dear god, that is a lot of red on the screen. Just going to the right and hammering away. The funny thing is, no enemies are really popping up in front of me. This is uh, actually a good th thing. Because if they were popping up right in front of me, other than the one that just happened there, I'd probably die instantly because I couldn't react in time because I'm scrolling only when I'm right on top of the screen. Where are we now? Ah. I don't know, some kind of high-tech building thing? With Medusa? Die! He came up right in front of me, and I didn't react in time. And the foreground hid the guy that killed me that time. That's great. Yeah, I'm sure you saw that again just now. The foreground hides some of the guys as they come at you. I like the fact that they added foreground graphics. That's cool. But whenever they completely block the guy that you're trying to avoid or attack, it don't work out ver very well. Apparently we won't have that problem in this one, though, because the foreground is this incredibly ugly yellow grid. Don't look like they put in as much work in this level, does it? Oh, well, keep running to the right. Die, Oc that's a weird thing. The baddies are like octopuses. Alright, we're getting harder now. I've got this blue guy that actually follows me. The enemies aren't just mindlessly running back and forth. I like that. Well, apparently the game saves your progress as you go along. Okay, fifth level. We're in a cave. Ooh, he caught me. Level five. Apparently the uh, blue uh, guy looks like a creature from the Black Lagoon, but he's blue instead of green. He'll follow your character instead of just mindlessly running to the left or right. Oh, apparently those are now too. Woohoo! I almost feel like I'm playing Tecmo Bowl on the uh, NES, do playing as a quarterback, dodging the uh, guys trying to tackle me. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Tecmo Bowl is good, though. This is not so good. Alright, there went level 5. Level six. level six. Ooh, there's more than five levels. I'm impressed. No, there's not. Crap. Same background. The enemies are a little harder, but that's it. This one has a few redeeming qualities, but not enough to save it. This one fails, too. So it's a, a double failure this time around. The Genesis couldn't keep winning. Uh, that's it. So we'll see you with the uh, next episode of Action 104.